Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. This is your host, ID Jester. I am live DMing Sword Coast Legends for four live players tonight. So AFK for one quick second. We uh, we got a chance to communicate um, before Head Start four, and we kind of organized. And I've been working on that module. Hopefully, I'll get those videos uploaded for you guys. But I didn't want to upload them until after we had a chance to run through it. Make sure everything's working. But we do have four live players ready to go so I will be communicating with them and also communicating with you so well howdy there players I just gave us our introduction and the video so uh, if you want to just one at a time maybe start at the top uh, with uh, who is this this Bronx maybe just give us about a uh, 10 seconds on your race or class and uh, what kind of character you're playing Sure, my name is Bronx Shalewind. I'm a Dwarven fighter. All right, uh, John? Uh, John had to run and take a quick AFK, so I will step in. This is uh, Shayna Rainbringer. I am a half-elf paladin of the Dale Lands, uh, specifically from Missledale. And I am a Shantian Paladin. That's great. All right. And last but not least, Shardok. Hello, Shardok. Um, a ranger. And I need to go back and review. I created this character a couple days ago and don't remember everything. <laughs> All righty. Well, um... I guess we'll just uh, wait on him to get back and then we'll get started. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this on pause till we're ready to go. Oh, that didn't take very long. We are ready to go. So, John, uh, welcome back. If you want to just give us a 15 second description of your character, what race and class you are, so everybody out there watching the videos uh, know what you're doing. Right, I'm playing John Hawklight, Halfling Rogue. Uh, basic goal is uh, evade, hide, and backstab. All right, beautiful. So uh, our basic um, backstory is that uh, you guys are in the adventure camp here kind of spending your time uh, doing minor jobs around the area as you can see there's lots of others in the camp and uh, occasionally you hook up with some of them uh, for this uh, evening though you all decided to head down to the city of West Ridge and uh, check out and see if they are in need of any assistance from adventurers sounds good yeah, Westridge. Sounds like a nice place. Sounds like fun. All right. Okay. Um, give me one second. I'm going to approach this uh, dwarf right here and see if he has any information. Greetings, Bosch. Uh, what news from... Uh, I've already forgotten the name. Huh? Oh, you must Westridge. be talking about uh, Westbridge. Yeah, yeah. We just, uh, I just got me a shipment in from there today. And w when the uh, the merchant came in to drop his supplies off, he mentioned something about uh, the city guards walking around without equipment. And uh, they just look like a shambles down there. Huh, how strange. <laughs> yeah, Sounds yeah. I, I questioned him about that. I wasn't sure what he was talking about, but... He assured me that uh, there was something amok down there with the guards in the city, and uh, um, it just didn't seem right to him. Oh, sounds like we better get down there. Yeah, it's uh, it's about a day's journey if you want to just buy some supplies for the road down there. All right, I'll see what you have. I got some uh, fresh mincemeat in from uh, West March, uh, Westbridge, and uh, it's, it's uh, one of the finest you can find. I do like a fresh mincemeat pie. Oh, unfortunately, it looks like a humble paladin such as I cannot afford your prices. <laughs> 
Oh, well, such is life. Well, you know, Shiva, I would give you a 10% discount, but uh, the guild won't let me do it. No, that's quite all right. I'll, I've always managed to get by. Thank you, sir. Thanks for your information, too. Happy journeys. Yep, here's a bit of a tip. And I ha hand him one gold. Hmm. Uh, I'll just take that off the next time you buy something from me. Oh, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Well, guys, shall we get going? Sure. Yep. Westbridge, this small town in the middle of the grasslands, is home to many different races. The outskirts is loaded with bandits and thugs that will raid merchants. Where is Westbridge in the uh, on the Sword Coast? Mm -hmm. I'm going to let it finish loading, then I'll tell you. Okay. If you bring up your world map, you will actually see Westbridge is listed on the world map. Oh, how do you bring up the world? Oh, there it is. Okay. Ah, okay. <clears throat> So as you uh, approach Westbridge, you've been here a couple times. It's not a very big place. Maybe about uh, 2,000 citizens total. Um, maybe about, uh, say, 100 buildings located inside the city walls. It's kind of a merchant uh, hubbub that leads between the north and the south. So, uh, where do you suggest we start? I'm not sure. Um, let's, there's a message board here. Maybe there's some information. So, I'm going to look at the information board here. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. I meant to talk to you first. <laughs> no, it's fine. The message board, obviously, we wouldn't have too much to talk about. Yep, yep, yep. Just... Okay, see Mr. Jenkins, the wine. Okay, uh, there's a note on here to see uh, Mr. Jenkins, uh, the winemaker. Sounds job. good. And it's not letting me hit. We accept. Oh, that's because John clicked it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's why. Sorry, my bad. No, 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 it's quite all right. All right, let's see here. Let's talk to these guards. See if they know anything. Uh, greetings, sirs. Uh, we understand that there might be some issues around here. Uh, what do you know? Oh, yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, I am uh, John, and uh, what, what would be your name? I don't recall your face. <laughs> greetings. I'm Shana Rainbringer. I'm from the Dale Land, so I'm not from around here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, we're, we're working uh, 24 hours, it seems like, uh, trying to Trying to recoup. Uh, we, we, we've had some of our stuff stolen. Right, right off from underneath us, too. Stolen? Stolen from guards? That seems awfully strange. No, no. I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. They were stolen from the, uh, the storage locker. Hmm. How very strange and how very bold of someone to do that. Yeah, some John. bandits, some thieves. You, you might want to talk with uh, Lady Merriman. She, she's the uh, captain of the guards, recently uh, hired on, and uh, she might be able to give you some more information. She's uh, right down the street. Uh, I'm going to point her out to you. She, okay. She, she, she's over there talking with uh, Brad over there. Oh, Brad. I need my horse, Brad. Oops. Lady Merriman, greetings. Uh, your soldiers bade us to talk to you. Uh, yes, um, you look a little short, but we could always use your services in the guards. Um, sure. Um, I have applications in my office if you want to follow me. Uh, no, ma'am. We're here to um, assist. We're uh, we're just passing through town, but we understood you had some problems with some thievery from your guards. 
Yes, of course. <laughs> yes. Uh, Brayton, Brayton thieves and thuggery right inside the city walls. Can you believe that? It does seem rather odd that somebody would steal from guards. Not yes, some of the guards saw them leaving the storage unit with the weapons, and they tracked them to the forest over to the west. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that or not, but, uh... Hmm. Uh, no, but you said it was west of the city? Yes, west of the city, but, uh, when my guards got to the edge of the forest, they saw something lurking in the bushes and were too scared to go in there. Scared? What could be that frightening for guards not to be able to approach it? Well, you know, uh, they're not really trained in uh, being in uh, outside of a city. They, they like to have feel the cobblestone on their feet. Every, Understandable. Every branch that snaps uh, will send shivers down their spines. Uh, you wouldn't be interested in helping our poor city of uh, Westbridge, would you? Oh, I'd be glad to help. What's a pay? Oh, pay I will it. tell you what the pay is. That is a great question. I am going to offer every one of you, if you can return the weapons, you will get to pick your own weapon and keep it. And also, we will get some gold from the city coffers and give it to you. Sounds good to me. Well, thank you. That sounds like an honorable reward. Well, that's only if you get the weapons back. Oh, we, we, yeah. we no problem. To. Fear not, we should be able to do this. Is there anything else we need to know before we head out? Well, uh, kind of the description from my guards. They said they had uh, they had some weapons and they had some armor, mostly uh, split mail, leather armor. You know, nothing too high level, but um, they seem to have uh, like red bands on their arms. So they must be some kind of organized group or something. Hmm. Okay, thank you for letting us know. John, you know any of these people with red bands on their arms? Why do you always ask me when there's thieving going on? Yeah, because you know a lot of people. Oh, that is a good question. Which Sorry, you know? can't help you. Hmm. Actually, John, uh, if you want to give me a 1d20 roll, I'll see if you have any history in the area that might um, give you some inside information. And now I betray my ignorance. How do I give you a d20 in the game? Uh, just bring up the little chat box in the bottom left-hand corner. And you're going to type in forward slash roll, R-O-L-L, -L, space, 1d20. And you rolled a 10. Um, hang on just a second. All right, so what we need to do is... Does he get to add his perception? Or his uh, wisdom? Hmm. Uh, give me... Uh, um, what is uh, your skill in... Um, i trying to remember what 5th edition does for, like, history. I can run and get my uh, rule book really quick if you want me to look. If you don't mind, that would be great. Yeah, give me one sec. Sorry, folks. Um, you know, the 5th edition, 4th edition, 3rd edition, they changed, you know, the, all the skills. I wish they would just standardize that. Hey, you vagrant. What are you doing? I told you not to be sleeping out here. I actually have a, um, 
character sheet that give, tells everything like that. Um, let's see here. Okay, history, insight, perception, religion. Is there a history? There is a history, and it's, it's an intelligent check. All right, uh, John, what's your uh, intelligence modifier? Zero. Uh, with the 10, uh, you just you don't know. You just haven't heard of anything in this area. You're just not too familiar with it. Okay. Like I said, sorry, I can't help. Mumbling with the... What's good of having a thief? He doesn't know thieves. Jeez. Just an out of character, uh, just so you guys know, if you look at your quest log up at the top, I actually put it on as uh, side quests and main quests. So you can kind of decide what you're doing that way. Oh, that's excellent. The job board didn't. Say, it still has a book over it. Is that? Did we miss something there? Was something added? Uh, that means there's uh, more papers on the board. Oh. Neat. Let's see here. If you need some bread, so do I. Come see me and Missy's bread. Okay. See, uh, I thought your characters would get a kick out of that. If you need some bread, <laughs> some bread. so do I. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> hey, guys, I see what she did there. <laughs> um, you guys, like I said, have been here a couple times. Uh, you know that there are signs usually out in front of uh, the vendors' houses. Okay. Hopefully, the signs are working this time in this build. No, I'm clicking. On can see them, not click them. Yeah, right here. I don't see the sign. Uh, yeah, they still have got it broken. Um, yeah, this this first sign right here where uh, Sheena is standing. Is that right, Sheena? Sheena. Uh, I'm sorry, Sheena. Where Sheena's standing, it actually says Jenkins Wines, and you see some wine bottle uh, barrels out front. Oh, good. We were meant to talk to Mr. Jenkins. Can I, I can't go in there now. Okay, good. Hey there! How are you today? I'm uh, Jenkins. Uh, what can I do for you? I have plenty of different wines. All the kinds. Old, expensive, cheap. Uh, whatever you like. Greetings, Mr. Jenkins. We saw you had a message posted on the message board. Oh, you're here about that? Yes, sir. <sighs> Uh, just a sec. Okay. Uh, I couldn't remember the guy's name, Mr. Bullwilder. <sighs> uh, you just come to town, uh, yes? You just arrived? Uh, yeah, we just walked in uh, about ten minutes ago. Yes, I see the dirt on you, and it looks like you traveled down the road. Um, as you came into town, you might have noticed there was uh, one of the buildings. Uh, it was all barricaded up and had a for sale sign outside. Um, I think I remember seeing that, yes. Yeah, that's my good friend, Mr. Bullwilder. That's my good friend's place, Mr. Bullwilder, and um, he's been gone for some time. And uh, the the city has commandeered his house because he hasn't paid his taxes. But I know I know my fellow's around somewhere. Um, I, I don't know what trouble he's gotten himself into this time, but I'm sure of it. He's alive somewhere. Did he tell you that he had any uh, was any wanderlust? Did he want to travel somewhere? Did he have any appointments? <clears throat> No, no, he's just a hunter. Uh, he goes out hunting uh, maybe a week at a time and comes back. Um, uh, this time, it's been probably uh, four or five months I haven't seen him. Uh, My goodness, that's a long time to report. Uh, did you not uh, report it to the guards or to the, to the local authorities? Of course I did, but uh, they're not going to go out and search for him. That's, uh, that's why uh, there's a bullword out there. Hmm. Oh, how unfortunate. And nobody else has wanted to go find him in five months. Well, we better get on it then. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, the, I think the people in town just want to buy his biz, uh, his house and his business, and uh, they don't care if he comes back. Do you know where you saw him last? <clears throat> he he came to visit me the day before he left, and uh, he told me he was going out uh, hunting uh, to the uh, southwest, and uh, he said he had put out some traps, and uh, he was going to go check his traps, and uh, possibly bring me back some special berries down there that I'm looking for to create some of my very special wine. F feel free to uh, have a taste. Uh, and he goes over and gets a little bottle of wine and pours you all a little tiny glass. <laughs> Can I take the bottle out of his hand? <laughs> mm. Yeah, give me a dexterity check. Okay. Twelve. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, you grab the bottle right out of his hand as he's pouring, but then he kind of grabs it right back. Um, yes, we, we no, no, I, you have to pay for it. This is just one free shot on the house for uh, if you're willing to help me. That's not a shot. That's a sip. <laughs> eh. Fine. I take a sip. Knock it back fast. Thank you, sir. That that is, uh, you might recognize that flavor. It's one of my specialties. It is uh, Prince Fulmer's favorite blend. Hmm. It's fruity with nice unctuous tones. It tastes like wine. <laughs> ah, yes, I see you're a wine connoisseur, aren't you? Why, yes. Some people I say I appreciate uh, the best of fine wines. Uh, growing up in a monastery, it was very easy to... Uh... Ah, here we go again. Okay, you're right. I'm rambling. <laughs> so that's why you like to drink wine. Well, in the Dale Lands, we harvest our own food and everything comes naturally. So we revel in all, uh, all of the harvests that Shantia blesses us with. And is I'm that, stand, standing at the table. <laughs> is that what you call drinking a lot of wine? Revel? <sighs> well, Mr. Jenkins, one more thing. Um, oh, you seem see. very sure yeah. that people wanted to buy his house and his business instead of wanting to help him. Is there something going on that we should know about? Uh, that's just my assumption. I, I just, uh, it doesn't seem like anybody cares about the poor fellow. He was a good friend of mine. We used to drink and have a good time and laugh. And, uh, you know, nowadays people, they just lose friendships. They don't care about uh, their neighbors. But uh, for some reason, I, I care about this poor chap. Okay. Well, we'll do our best to try to find him. Hmm. I will give you a free case of wine of your choice should you be able to uh, make sure that uh, Mr. Bullwilder is returned safely to town. Oh, thank and, you. and what if he's not safe when we find him? Hmm. Good question. Well, I, I certainly hope that you have the skills to make him safe. You look like you can handle a sword and a bow. We hope we can find him safe for you. Let's go. I almost forgot to click the guy. <laughs> so long, Mr. Jenkins. We'll see you when we return. Uh, fairly well. Uh, can I exit out? Right. Yes, over here. All right, so uh, just across the street, there's another sign that says Misty's Braids. Okay. Should I click on the first Hi there. Hi, hi, how are you doing? Greetings, Missy. How are you today? I'm sad. I'm sad. I just, 
I can't make good bread anymore. Are you here about my job? I've been looking for people like you. You, you, nobody comes in here with swords and weapons drawn out, so you must be here about the job. We are. Sean Tia's blessings on you. You can can't make bread. Oh, the horror. <clears throat> Well, the problem is the 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 flour I get from the mill outside of town. I'm sure you saw it. It's it's kind of southeast of us. Um, you know the big tall mill. It's uh, Braun is doing his best out there, but he keeps sending me flour with uh, hair in it and animal droppings, and he's he must have some problems out there. I'm telling you. Oh goodness, how horrible! Would you like some assistance trying to figure out what's going on out there? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The guards have stopped coming in here to buy my bread because they don't want to eat it, and I, I, I can't make a living uh, unless I can sell my bread. Well, knowing that the guys behind me love to eat, I'm pretty sure we would love to help. Yeah, but I love other bread more. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I will certainly uh, make you uh, many loaves of bread for free, and I will pay you if you can help out the miller. Absolutely. We will do our best. Mm, my favorite word, pay. <laughs> she kind of uh, leans over to um, Senya and says, uh, there is children in this town, and they're going hungry. I understand. I'll pray tonight for to Shantia to bring blessings to your community. It's, it's, we'll look into it for you. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. You're welcome. Missy, while I'm here, we've heard some strange going on goings on about the guards being robbed. Don't you find that strange that the guards would be robbed in such a city such as this? Guards robbed? Are you kidding? Oh my gosh! I, I, I'm going to be locking the door. I'm. Uh, I don't feel safe here. Do you uh, have you? Did you know about this crime before? I mentioned no, it. No, 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 no. This is news to me. When did this happen? Who, 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 who did this? We don't know yet, and we've been uh, uh, tasked by the uh, captain of the guard to find out. And yes, I would highly recommend that you lock your door. At Shayna, you. let's go. You talk too much some days there, Shana, dear. Okay, guys. Let's get going. Missy, we'll be back soon. You might want to actually activate the quest before you leave. Oh, right. Thank you. <laughs> Let me end this first quest. Did I? There we go. Okay. Now, now I need to talk to her. Okay. Uh, Don't know why you're volunteering information, just getting the lady upset. Well, I thought it was common knowledge. Jeez, a guard gets into, and they're saying guards barely have any clothes. Do you think people would notice it? Oh, I wouldn't volunteer information. <laughs> the guard's not going to share stuff like that. They don't want to know. They don't want everybody knowing they're vulnerable. But they <laughs> barely got armors and weapons on. Of course, people are going to notice. It's not for you to decide. You do guys see you kind of uh, talking as you're going through the street. Um, you do, now that you've kind of talked with the baker, you realize that some of these people look a little thin and they're probably not getting as much food uh, as they normally should have. It's probably a pretty, pretty bad situation. Well, I tell you what, guys. Sounds like the... Um... Helping getting the mill sorted out would probably be our best start. These people need help. Whatever, she's paying us. So, uh, so, um, Sh Shadok, uh, one of the, um, city folk comes up to you and has her hand kind of out. And says, sir, sir, do you have, do you have a spare copper? Maybe a silver? I'll give her one, but um, how do I do that to the to an NPC? Uh, you can in the game. Just roleplay it. All right. 
There you go, ma'am. Here's one copper. Oh, thank you. So, uh, after you do that, uh, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, uh, several more peasants start coming down the street towards you guys. Oh, look what you did. No, it was the right thing, but we need to get going. The best way to help them is to get their food settled. I've been saying let's go for a while now. Hey, sir, um, here, over here, Master Dwarf. No, 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 don't, don't, don't leave me, Master Dwarf. Uh, you, you look like you could, uh, spare a copper or a silver or maybe even a gold piece. Sir, would you rather us help you, f uh, sort out the town's issues so everyone could benefit? It's, uh, peasant here by the dwarf. Yeah, I gotcha. I, I don't keep any money on me. You can ask Shayna, she'll give you some. <laughs> So you guys are gathering a crowd around you of peasants at this at this point. Okay, oh, I'm, I'm gonna leaving. Use, I'm going to use my charisma uh, role and and try to convince the people that we're going to you know our best way to help them is to get going so we can you know save save the town and help everyone. All righty, give me a roll. And I've got a plus three to charisma. Uh, so you kind of stumble through the words, and uh, as you're kind of uh, trying to tell all the townsfolk, uh, you know, that you're doing your best and everything, <clears throat> basically at that point, uh, um, your fighter and your uh, ranger pick you up and start carrying you out of town. <laughs> <laughs> That would probably be the real world scenario too. I can type better than I can talk. Gonna change your last name from Rainbringer to Sadnessbringer. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta keep off of the chair. Bringer of tears. Here. My uh, push to talk keeps going in the chat window. Mm -mm. <clears throat> so, a um, couple miles out of town, um, you see a path leading up to the old mill. It's kind of a run-down, broken-down looking place. Um, doesn't look like it's well taken care of. And uh, as you kind of approach the area, you notice that there's, uh, you know, lots of growth the plants aren't taken care of they're kind of out of control it just looks like a, a place that um, you basically you know isn't well kept anybody working around here you see off in the uh off to the left as you kind of approach the mill there's some real shabby looking tents and you see some workers kind of sitting there uh smoking a cigarette and uh you know trying to start their fire Do we notice anything in this camp area? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by... Uh, notice notice anything out of the ordinary? Is there anything... Uh, uh, anything... Oh... Heck, I'll just ask them. <laughs> now, as you approach, I mean, they're just workers they look like they're beat they're just um they're just real tired looking and they got grime and dirt all over them and stuff they see you kind of approaching and and uh hey you, you got a light we can't even get our fire started i take a, a flint out of my mess kit and light the fire for them if i can are you the mill workers <laughs> Yeah, we 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 work in the mill. We work around the area. Yeah, why? How come I'm not working? Work <laughs> uh, let's get a force. Our shift is over. It's getting nighttime. Can't you tell? The sun's going down. We've heard some bad rumors about the mill. What has been happening? Oh, I got the fire lit. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got a find the guy's name. I keep forgetting. It is Ron. Okay. Has anything been strange going on at the mill? 
thank thank you for lighting our fire, but you're gonna have to talk to Braun. He, he's in the mill. Uh, we just work here. We we don't know nothing, ma'am. Okay. As you uh, enter, you just see a dwarf again, kind of um, just dirty, looks like he's been working all day, kind of uh, trying to clean up the place. Uh, you're not uh, George and Hank. What are you doing here? Greetings, Ron. We just came from town. We understand there's uh, been some problems here at the mill. Hey, I try my best. I do, ma'am. I do. I try the best. I, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, there's only so much a man can do. Uh, sir, sir, what are you rambling about? I don't understand. I try to make the best I can. I ask the city for help. They don't even send anybody up here. They send you up here? We're here to help. What's wrong? <laughs> I like him. <laughs> There's something getting in my flower. Every every day they come up, they they get in my flower, and, and they they just they they're filthy, they're dirty, they're rats. There's all kind of creepy crawlers. Scares everyone away. Is there a nest around here? Yes, I guarantee you there's a nest. I think there's a there's a cave up there to the north. I, I swear that's where they come from. But nobody's brave enough to go up there. Look at my arms. Look. I, I, I got bits. I got bites all over the place. We'll look at it, Bron. How's that? Yeah, we'll get rid of this for you. <sighs> if you could, that would be so awesome. Will do. All right, let's get this going. Oh. Rats. Why did it have to be rats? <laughs> well, it's you, better than spiders. You you dirty rat. You you, you dirty rat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you, you dirty rat. Did, did you talk to Master Braun? Did he set you straight? He did. We're going to try to solve the rat problem. Uh, you notice that they're kind of uh, skewering a couple rats to put on the fire now. <laughs> yeah. You look hungry. Goodness. If you want, we can cook you up a couple. I don't think. Maybe later. Thank you. Oh, tastes like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I tell my mama. So as you uh, left the mill and kind of venture up to the north, you saw a pack of big black rats uh, kind of over in one little area. Bigger than normal rats? Yeah, they seem to be well-fed, well-groomed, uh, and well-taken care of. Is there anything about this one spot where they were gathered that we can uh, learn about? Looks like they were snacking on this. Well, what'd you find? What is that? Looks like a wolf. Oh. Rats that can take down a wolf? No, you I'm see, um... <clears throat> you see the wolf is caught inside an animal trap. Oh, well, there you go. Huh. Well, you, you can definitely tell man. that uh, that the uh, the uh, rats were uh, feasting well off of the carcass. Wow. Bring them down! Oh, 
I don't hate rats, but these just give me the creeps. Yes, they're special like the DM black rats. Oh, so, uh, you? as you guys kind of approach the uh, north there, if you guys want to give me a spot check. <laughs> 17. Marius. Marius. Which one is Marius? Ah, I see. <laughs> I did that earlier. Rule. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot the D. Drool. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, as you kind of wind up uh, to the north here, uh, kind of between some big rocks, you see like an opening probably about oh, five or six feet wide by about uh, 10 feet tall, kind of leads into the darkness beyond. You can see lots of little footprints uh, kind of coming and going from the area. I bet this is the nest. Yeah, let's head in there. Is that West Forest Path? Uh, hang on a sec. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, they should be looking at the no, small cave opening. Should be looking at a uh, small cave opening. Hang on, we're getting world travel. Is there somewhere else that I should be clicking? Uh, we don't. It uh, doesn't show up on the world map. Anything that's a small cave opening. Mm. All right, hang on. Sure, no problem. Let's see. Can I do something about that? That's the question. Small cave opening. Uh, move to location. Can I visit it? Are you guys loading it? Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay. Okay, they got to do a better job of uh, naming their buttons because it said, you know, travel to, um, you know, there was a couple options, but it doesn't say, like, travel with party. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> so I wasn't sure if you guys were going. Okay. So once you make it uh, kind of through the entrance and into it, you realize that um, this might have been an old mining cave at one time. You see lots of uh, logs and uh, uh, banisters and uh, walls made out of wood and stuff. But it's probably been uh, forgotten about quite a ways ago because you see lots of dust and dirt, cobwebs, uh, spider webs, um, and uh, lots of little footprints, tracks going up and down the walls and path leading in and out. Sorry, uh, John. Rats. I know. Be brave. Come on. We need to do this for them. And th Okay, for you, think of the money. Mm, gold. Um, All right. Lead us in, John. Go. Wooden door there. There they are. <laughs> Let's see, they need to really come this way so they can get some treasure, which might give them something that they can use so <clears throat> even though the uh, cave is kind of large you do uh, hear the pitter patter of little footprints up and down the walls occasionally you hear like scratching sounds Bring them down!
Oh, this place is giving me the creeps. There should be a chest there. Yep. Okay, good for them. Hey. Somebody left some stuff in here. Huh. What'd you find? There. A bow, some, and some coin. You kind of listened at the door before you open it. You didn't really hear anything close. Hmm. Oh, come like this. Way. Oh, hold up, guys. Uh, I see something. Okay. All right, we should be good to move forward a little bit. Okay. So you see two rats uh, kind of scurrying towards you. Then suddenly they kind of, then suddenly they kind of uh, back away and they scurry uh, to the north there um, and kind of go in a hole behind the wall. Mm -hmm. Come on. Uh, Dang it. Come on, you should be... There you go. Can you see where it went, John? Good job. No. Oh, wait a second. What's that? <laughs> He's got a great voice, too. What'd you find? Oh, ah. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Good job. You, uh, as the door kind of slides back away, you, uh, all is quiet... But then you you hear the faint sound of uh, something creaking against wood. Hmm. Hmm. Well, lead us in, John, when you're ready. All right, we're going to take a break. Uh, as soon as we're done with this room, give them a chance to uh, everyone to take a few seconds. Sorry, I'm just testing a few things with this new build. Um, do you guys see anything on your mini map? Because um, I, I don't, see... I, I don't have a mini map. Yeah, I see the the spider. There's a giant spider around the corner, but right. Okay, I wasn't sure if you guys. Uh, they were say they were going to fix the line of sight issue, but it doesn't look like that's a thing yet. It it pretty much we saw it as soon as uh, we t took a step into the room. The whole room uh, lit up. All right. Yeah, I figured they didn't, weren't going to get it done before final build, but I was just trying to see. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. Do you guys hear something in here? The Scratching. There's some kind of clicking noise. Oh, big spider. Ah. Uh. Ugh, yuck. <clears throat> now he's a dead spider. You can definitely tell that this spider's been well fed, probably eating a lot of the rats and stuff that are feeding its diet. Gross. Should see Come here, John. Let me clean my hammer off on your leather. Yeah, you keep your hammer to yourself. <laughs> oh, I found some hey. boots and a morning star in this chest. Do you mind if I keep that? I don't care. <laughs> He's got a great voice. There's uh, a note in these boots over here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's written in what looks like common with yesterday's date on it. These are actually boots. You have to excuse my improper English. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> All 
So wow. there's a note written in Broken Common with yesterday. What does the note say? Uh, <clears throat> it's just broken, in, uh, broken Common, which, I mean, there's just words kind of like randomly put together. It doesn't really make any sense. What are, can we read what some of the words are? Yeah, some of the words are like food, find, happy, slave, work, sad. You know, a lot of the common words like that just kind of thrown together. Oh, how interesting. I found some leather armor if anyone wants it. I'll throw it down. All right, guys. We I'm going to uh, stop my recording, so we're going to take a five-minute break here. You guys can uh, check the chest, uh, do whatever you need, and uh, take a five-minute break. All right, guys. All right, All right guys. We're going to be back for the next episode uh, shortly. Thanks for watching.